is going on? Why the camera's not even on me? <laughs> what is going on guys? Today, we're actually gonna go ahead and do a review on the Tomei exhaust. I'm driving right now, so very dangerous, all right? But we got the Tomei, it's installed. It's due for a review. We mentioned that whenever we get any new part to the car, we wanna make sure that you guys know what we think about that part before purchasing that item. Um, so definitely that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're actually heading to a spot that we want to definitely check out. We've lived near it for who knows how long, but definitely want to see it for the first time. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's like a, it's a covered bridge, but we've never like actually just like chilled out there or anything like that. Hopefully there's not too much traffic when we get there, but yeah. It's pretty much right around the corner, but I guess from the title you can tell, yes. Uh, he loves this exhaust. I think it's pretty cool. In fact, I'm pretty sure even when like I first heard it, I thought about like, just having some regrets, I think I should have probably gone to Tomei. <laughs> so, here are going to be a couple things as to what we like about it, and more specifically what the driver thinks of his exhaust, you know? Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, there's there's definitely only positive things. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> It sounds really good. <laughs> I think there's no question about that. Though. That is one of the many enjoyments that this exhaust brings, for sure. That and highway ramps. Oh. Highway ramps, huh? Highway ramps are definitely, hmm. definitely the the cream on the crop. You know what I'm saying, the guys? Cream on the crop. That's that good stuff right there. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little dark actually. Reason. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Reason number one. Um, well. To be honest guys, the idling is the first thing that comes to my mind too. Cause it's one thing for exhaust to sound loud once you're pushing it, right? But just like chilling in a parking spot, like not moving the car at all or not moving at a red light, it's kind of important to me because that gives me like, oh, I can hear it. Like I know I, I have a new exhaust on, I can hear my car even when it's not moving. So I think that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. Do you think it's like- No, I would agree with you. Of course. Not only when you're just pushing the car, oh, like, you only hear the exhaust when you hit 2,000 or 3,000 RPMs, like, you hear it constantly. Um, we're actually going to leave the car running <laughs> during the video, but I think the idling would just be kind of too yeah. loud. We realize that the idling is kind of actually loud and a little <laughs> bit distracting, so, I mean, there you go. That's that's kind of the point of having the exhaust. For sure. That That's probably number one. Number two? It's a big thing for me. The clean sound. The biggest thing is, all right, memes out there, right? The trumpet, the the horn, the just runs past you, it sounds all raspy. To me, that's not true. The exhaust that has a little bit of rasp because there's no lies there. I mean, it's it's a 370Z. The 350Z is gonna have some rasp. The G coupes are gonna have rasp too. But this exhaust, out of all the exhausts I feel like I hear, they don't have that much rasp. I no, mean, yeah, they, don't, they have doesn't. more rasp, I mean, than the Tomei. The Tomei has the least out of them all. It has a really good sound. I mean, it, I, haven't, I personally, I haven't taken a look into all the other exhausts that are available for, you know, the Zs, 370Zs, uh, and Infinities. But to me, I mean, the Tomei does a really, really good job in comparison to everything else that I've heard from, not just, you know, the Z models, but any other car as well. So that's why, like, I know that it's actually very high quality just off of the sound alone. So they definitely did a lot of work uh, putting that together. Yeah, and you, you can choose. If you're driving and you don't want to be too loud because you feel like maybe, let's say, let's just say there's you're in an area that you don't want to get pulled over or anything like that, you can choose if you want your car to be loud. If you push it hard, you know it's going to be loud, you, but you can control it for sure. Um, that'd probably be like the second thing. 
That's something I can't do on my car. <laughs> well, I can't control how loud it is. It just it's always gonna be loud, warm start, cold start. It doesn't really matter. Alright, huge thing, the look. I mean, it's titanium, burnt tip. Just looking at it, in my opinion, looking at it out from just looking at the car, knowing that if I was to even get closer, it looks better and better. I mean, you guys saw the unboxing, and if you didn't check out that video, it was our Tomei exhaust install. Uh, but it was... Go watch it if you didn't, yeah, actually. Super. Go watch it. Actually, pause right yeah, now. Hold up. We'll wait. Check out the video. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. You just, <laughs> just go watch we'll, the video. We'll wait right here. We'll, just, we'll sit up on the fence or something yeah. like that. But <laughs> Don't take too long, though. Watch the video if you guys didn't. The exhaust looked really nice coming out of the box. The prep, the way it came out of the box, everything was fully, you know, um, what was it, bubble wrap? It was like yeah. bubble wrap. It's not like bubble wrap, it was bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, it was bubble wrap. <laughs> it was bubble wrapped fully. I felt like opening it up, I knew like, okay, it, was, it wasn't gonna get damaged through packaging as much. Like, knowing that, you know, it's, that's something that comes to my mind when you order something. You're scared it's gonna get busted. You know, it's coming from Jam Japan. It's gonna get busted on the way here or anything like that. That opening up the box, it was just, it was packed really nicely. Uh, but definitely, once I did take it out of the box, just the titanium itself looked super clean, especially the burnt tip portion. Uh, and that's a huge thing for me. Aesthetically, with the car, whether the car has a lot of other cosmetic things going on with it, the exhaust itself makes it look really nice. Um, but that's definitely a huge thing. Uh, I can't, I, I, I love the exhaust, but I had to put down the reasons. I had to put them down. All right guys, huge thing. The exhaust is considered a performance exhaust. You go to the websites, Njuku, Tome. It does mention that it's actually for racing and performance use, not so much as for the streets. Uh, too bad, I have it on my car, I don't care, it's my daily. Um, but it does, I'm not exactly sure what the numbers are that it could provide. It's not a whole lot, it's an exhaust. It's, you're not doing a tune, you're not dynoing it. Um, but if you're getting, if you plan on getting an exhaust, the Tome, yeah, there may be other exhausts that you can just throw onto a stock car and it might provide a smidge of a number better. But if you're really so crazy about the numbers, then just go get your car tuned. It, you're gonna get this, I mean, practically the same results. Yeah. Whether, whatever, a dual exit exhaust or quad exit exhaust on the 370s, which I don't see too often. I saw a quad tip on it on Instagram the other day, but I was like, that's different. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Well, one thing you also have to understand, even though it is changing your performance very slightly, and in fact, if you plan on getting horsepower for your car and you want just a modification, this is not going to be it. This isn't really something where you're going to be increasing the amount of horsepower that you're getting significantly. But that being said, it does actually kind of change the characteristics of the vehicle itself, of the car and how it moves, how it behaves, and definitely the type of feedback that you get from a car. Now, being that it is actually a manual. You already get a lot of feedback from it, so having that rumbling, right. it's just, it, it definitely changes it, and I would say it's well worth it. Yeah, definitely, there's slightly more torque, I've realized. Definitely, I don't notice it all the time because I might have gotten used to it by now, but I have noticed a slight increase of torque. It could be because, I mean, I'm just using common knowledge, not really factual, but it is a single exit, and it was a dual exit before. The huge thing that I do like a whole lot about the Tomei exhaust is just the mindset of weight reduction. If you're looking to do mods to your car, most of the time, those aftermarket parts are probably going to be slightly light, lighter than the parts that you originally have on stock. Um, most of the time. Most of the time. But it was super light. I mean, the overall exhaust compared to the stock exhaust was... This is probably like 23 pounds, I believe I mentioned. Yeah, somewhere around there. But the other somewhere one was... 20. The, other, the, the stock exhaust, including the white pipe, was probably... Around like 70. Yeah. 70, 70, 70 or less. But... For sure the weight reduction was a huge thing and, and I like that. It's, it's something in the back of the mind and if you're into doing modifications to your car that includes making it lighter, um, if you're one of those guys who who want to go race something like that and you only run it with a quarter of a gallon and all that, I mean, a quarter of a gallon, quarter, quarter of, of a gallon. tank. Quarter of a tank. Quarter of a gallon, you're turning on your car. Yeah, you're turning, turning your car, it's turning right back <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> definitely that's the huge thing. Um, and also, the price, the price. Yeah. For most people, I mean, let's let's be real. Not everyone can put an expensive part onto their car. Um, the exhaust came out to maybe over around eleven $1 hundred dollars. Um, there's things out there a lot like a firm, these financing things, but and like they could be helpful. There is going to be some interest upon with that. I've read, but as for the overall price, 
it's well worth it. I mean, yeah, you're getting titanium. I wanted the Tome because every single time I watched the video of it, every single time I saw it on the road, uh, which wasn't very often, to believe it or not, because I, I there's just not a lot of car, not that many, not too many car enthusiasts here in Coral Springs. I mean, it is not you don't expect everyone to have it. It's not that it's car. that bad, but it's also not like in, in Cali, from our experience. Yeah. Uh, if you go to Miami, there's some people, but usually yeah. around this area, it's kind of suburban. So it's it's more family oriented. Yeah, really, in it's mainly like the youth, like us, <laughs> that tend to have you know nice. The park cars. in the middle of the street and, and bother the the citizens, you know. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> it was well worth it. I don't have too much complaints, at all. <laughs> but <laughs> and <Oop. laughs> I think a huge thing, and some of you guys are gonna deny it, but I'm not wrong. There's gonna be things, a whole lot of things in life <laughs> with the car that you're gonna do, and it could be just for you. Interior things, not everyone sees the interior of the car. You're doing putting carbon fiber pieces everywhere, race seats that people aren't gonna notice right away. But the exhaust, that's something that everyone around you is gonna hear. And I would say I get attention, uh, you know. Man. Let it be known, it's different type of attention. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's seeking attention. <laughs> it's more like, and I can kind of attest to this because it happens with my car too. Like, for example, literally, I think it was that day that we went to go get the wrap on the top of the car. Also, if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that oh, too. Oh, true, yeah. <laughs> but the day that we went there, uh, we were literally just riding there and I see a Type R behind me. And I was on the phone with him because I was following him. So I literally told him, I'm like, I bet you we can get this guy to run with us. <laughs> literally all I did was like rev up a little bit, my car popped. Next thing you know, we're all three, three of us are lining up, like we're ready to race. <laughs> but that's kind of like the beauty of it. It is, it does get attention, whether it's, you know, from people that aren't really car enthusiasts at all, or people that do like, you know, the way that your car sounds, it is getting attention. We didn't race though, okay? Because street racing is illegal. Yeah, we didn't. And we, we didn't, race. didn't race. We just lowered down our windows. We were like, hey man, nice car. And then we drove away from each other. That's exactly, that, about it. <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> what we did. Uh, <laughs> reason number four. Reason number four. Four, five, six? What reason are we on? That was, that, that was all of them. That was all of them? That was all of them. No That's all I wrote down. Why? That's all I wrote down. We love the exhaust. <laughs> it's a great exhaust. <laughs> it's a great exhaust. It is amazing. <laughs> no, it's 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. It's what I've always wanted. And we're doing this video because we want to let you guys know why you should get it too if you're thinking about it. Well, if you guys did enjoy the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. Just let us know. Give us feedback. Uh, again, we're going to pretty much be saying this on every single video. So you might as well leave a thumbs up or yeah. thumbs down. Or we comment. Just, we, yeah, comment we just want to feedback. Us. I check the comments every single night before I go to bed. Yeah. When I take off my glasses, I check real quick. Did anyone, you know, say anything to us? Yeah, and sometimes I gotta put my glasses like on and off. Yeah, I, just in I, case I if we're anything. missing it. <laughs> <laughs> but we actually have to go to the gym. The gym's about to close. Yeah, it is gonna close on us. But well, today's gonna, chest day, but he doesn't know that. We're gonna be able to catch it anyways. Uh, again, there's gonna be a little subscriber button down here, right here. Or, or down here. Yeah. Probably down here, actually. Oh, that's you know what? Yeah, I think it's on this one. It is normally on yeah. that side. Yeah, it is gonna yeah. be on this side. All right, so go ahead. But and click if it we don't know if it's subscribe. gonna work, we're trying to see if the button works. So maybe like so press the button and yeah, let us know if that let, button let works, because we think it's not working for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> right, right here. Let us Man. know if it works. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next one. Where'd you go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Peace out.